Automatic Potential Metric Titrator, AT710M. The AT710M is a high-performance instrument that leads an accurate liquid analysis with its original mechanical features and software. In addition to measuring acidity and salinity, it is an AT series automatic potential metric titrator, which can be used for various types of concentration analysis. It also supports wireless and LAN connections. Furthermore, by combining the AT710S or M with a multi-sample changer, you will be able to substantially increase productivity. An explanation regarding the use of the AT710M. Unpacking and Parts Confirmation The main unit and accessories are located inside the box. Please refer to the chart and confirm the contents are complete. MS710A Magnetic Stirrer Combined Glass Electrode EBU710 Burette Unit Assembling the burette unit. Slide the burette unit from the right and hook the piston push rod of the burette unit to the drive screw of the main unit. If you put the housing on the guide pin of the main unit and slide it, it will be easier to adjust its vertical position. Attach the burette unit while inserting the hole of the housing of the burette unit into the guide pin of the main unit in two places. Tighten the retention screw to affix the burette unit in place. Assembling the magnetic stirrer. Screw the stand bar firmly into position as shown in the diagram of the magnetic stirrer. Adjust the fixing bracket to a height where the electrode does not touch the bottom of the beaker, even if the electro holder is at its lowest possible position. Use the lever at the bottom of the electrode holder to adjust the vertical position. Insert the connector of the stirrer cable into the back of the magnetic stirrer. Assembling the burette unit. Install the nozzle pocket to the base of the bottle. Tighten the connecting tube to the number two position of the switching valve. Tighten the diffusion-proof nozzle to the tip on the reverse side of the connecting tube and attach it to the electrode holder. At this time, install the discharge outlet junction of the diffusion-proof nozzle so that it faces outside. Tighten the lid of the reagent bottle and place it on the bottle stand. Tighten the connecting tube to the number one position of the switching valve. Please make sure that the long male union and the stopper are on the opposite sides. Align the tube to a position that ensures it can reach the bottom of the reagent bottle. Install the desiccant tube onto the reagent bottle. At this time, remove the seal of the desiccant tube. Attaching the electrodes. Attach each electrode to the electrode holder and tighten the locking screw. Place the electrodes at the position furthest from the nozzle during the stirring of the liquid. Insert the connector until you hear the sound of the electrode pin and tighten the cap. Adjusting the lever at the bottom of the electrode holder adjusts its vertical position.
Cable connections. Description of each part. Pre-amplifier section, detector 1. A detector that measures the potential difference of the sample solution. Temp.comp connector. A connector used to connect a temperature sensor to the titration solution of burette number 1. For the stir connection, connect a stir to stir the sample solution. Power cord connector, in. A connection for connecting the power cord. Power cord connector, out. A connection for connecting the power cord of the MCU-710. Connect the magnetic stirrer to stir the sample solution. Connect the electrode lead to the pre-amplifier on the back of the main unit. After inserting the connector, turn it around to lock it into the G1 terminal. Attach the power cord to the AC adapter and connect the connector plug of the AC adapter to the in-power connector slot on the back of the main unit. The USB connector is used for storing measurement results. Connect the USB memory stick to record and save the method. You can also connect a USB printer, a keyboard for inputting characters, a barcode reader for setting method, and a foot switch that can start measurements without the need to touch the device. By connecting a personal computer, it is possible to control the unit and have data communication via the attached PC. Connecting the printer. You can print titration results and method parameters by connecting a printer. Press the cell key once to turn it off and load the paper. Cutting the paper diagonally will make it easier to insert. Powering on. First, Turn on the power to measurement unit. Then press the menu Home key. Select the 11th menu option, Setup, and press Enter. Next, select the second option, Interface, and press Enter. Select the fourth option, USB, and press Enter. Then set the mode option to MCU and press Enter. Turn off the power. Filling titration solution. A concentration difference is generated between the reagent in the burette and the reagent in the reagent bottle. To eliminate this concentration difference, perform a purge. Select the burette in the screen. Select purge mode. Select two bottle. Set the number of times to purge to 10 and press the up and down arrow keys to activate piston 10 times to fill the burette while expelling excess air. When the burette has been filled, press the exit key and return to the top screen. Tilt the degassing vial and titration nozzle slightly upward and press the up arrow key. Move the air inside the burette to the side where the vial is. And when the reagent starts to exit from the tip of the nozzle, push the up arrow key again to stop the piston. Confirm that any air bubbles in the titration nozzle have disappeared. And remove the vial for degassing. Attach the titration nozzle to the electrode holder. Measurement Condition Settings Now we will introduce the measurement method for neutralization via titration. Set the measurement conditions. As you press the method key on the screen with the cursor positioned at number 1, press the edit key. Enter the method name and press the titration mode key. Please select the titration mode. Note, neutralization titrations may be performed with auto-titration. Press the OK key in the upper right of the screen. Press the back key and check the parameters of the settings screen. 
Then press the control parameter key. Press the control speed mode key. This sets the titration speed. As this procedure will require normal titration speeds, select Standard and press the OK key. Press the back key once, then the calculation parameter key. This time we will perform a titration using calculation formula 1. Confirm that it is valid and press the details key. First, enter the units. For this case, select mole per liter and press the OK key. The unit of concentration is decided by the selection. The calculation formula is as follows. Note that it is also possible to include arbitrary numbers. Press the back key after having selected OK to return to the calculation parameter screen. Depending on the acid being used, you must select a constant. Press the constant key. Select conch, coefficient 1, and press the OK key. Press the back key to return to the previous screen. When all the settings have been made, press the home key. Electrode Calibration Calibration Condition Setting Channel First, press the Calibration key, then press Edit. Please press the Details key of the Calibration Condition Settings Channel, Unit, and check the Calibration point. The values should be set to pH 4, pH 7, pH 9. You may set these values at will. Please leave the electrode and the temperature compensation electrode in the electrode holder and remove the nozzle to calibrate in the electrode. When you are done, press the home key to return to the home screen. Sample measurement. Let's start by taking a sample. Press the sample key, followed by the size S1 key. This time we will take 5 milliliter of the sample, so enter 5 milliliter and press the OK key. You can return to the home screen with the home key and confirm that the wait for titration is displayed. Begin titration with start key. Titration preparation will be displayed and the measurement process will begin. Important Measurement Notes For sample measurements, it is necessary to set up the apparatus so that the blowout opening of the diffusion-proof nozzle faces outward. If it faces inward, the titrant comes into direct contact with the electrode, and correct measurements may not be possible. If the rotation speed of the stirrer is too high, channels may form in the central portion of the liquid due to centrifugal force, and the electrode may not come into sufficient contact with the liquid. Please adjust the speed with the knob. Short-term storage. Remove the electrode from the measured solution. Rinse the electrode with pure water and wipe with clean filter paper to remove any contaminate from the electrode. Storage is completed by placing electrodes in a preservation solution or pure water that has been prepared in advance. Long-term storage. For long storage periods, place the electrodes into a preservative solution in the included electrode preservation bottle and tighten the cap firmly. Please keep the electrode in a designated case. Applications By selecting the proper electrodes and reagents Neutralization titration Redox titration Precipitation titration 
photometric titration, polarization titration, conductivity titration, and other various titrations are possible. AT710M, the multi-sample changer. By combining this device with a multi-sample changer, you can increase productivity, resulting in cost savings. By connecting the multi-sample changer, CHA600, CHA700, CHA740 or 760, one can perform analyses of the same sample continuously or analyze different samples repeatedly. In addition, it is possible to clean the electrode after titration and automatically drain the solution in the beaker. A high-performance instrument that leads the industry in the precision analysis of liquids and soluble solids using mechanics and software. The AT710M. In addition to measuring acidity and salinity, the AT series automatic potential metric titrator can be used to perform various concentration analyses with a high degree of accuracy and reproducibility.